Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more of our not point twelve point one. Look at that, I got it right. Not point twelve point one campaign in Factorio. So um what are we doing? Well, I mean I'd like to get some electric furnaces made. Oh, we're so slow on the grass. Blech. You know what we need more is is concrete. Needs more concrete. Concrete everywhere. And trains! We need trains. Oh god, we're so slow. Ah, much better. Much better. For no reason at all other than because I like them. Okay, how's power? Power's totally fine. Got oil. Let's do some fluid handling. Um, we're gonna build a few oil things and a couple oil refineries and a couple chemical plants. We might want to go pick up a few pipe. We'll save a lot of time on this manufacturing. I don't think chemical plants are really something that we want to throw into the assembly line or anything right now. Um. There's a bad guy base up there. Is that, is that new? It must have spawned recently. There's only a couple guns here. Well. Let's take ammo with us and go kill them. While we wait for our oil equipment. We can make solar panels already, which would be nice. It's probably about as close as I want to get before we load up some ammo. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll need plastics. I like these turrets so much. They are so strong. My god! Holy crap, do they kill things fast. I mean, that's impressive. We'll leave those two up there. We'll leave these two here as well. Look at all these, that massive, massive iron depot. My gosh. So apparently, um, you are able to use, what is it? it you can use eight on a side on this thing now. Oh yeah, we have a car. Somebody commented a while back saying that I'd never drive it again. It's true. I have a tendency to do that. Build cars and things and I forget about them. Not only that, but the turrets have more HP now as well. Alright, so how's that brick making going? Concrete. Got almost all of the oil stuff that we need. We can uh, decide where we want to do the oil industry. You actually can place down concrete with robots, so we will be doing that soon. Okay, um... Plastics, we'll need sulfur so we can do batteries and things. Where do we want to get our oil? Got some oil here, a little bit over there, a little bit over there. Well... I always move you over by one. This is you as well. We could tap this here. It's not not horrible. The percentages could be better, but okay. Um, this is kind of a small region, though, to really be doing oil processing. We've got a space up here, though. This could work. Yeah, there's plenty of space up here. Alright, so we're going to lay down our foundations. And the nice thing about not using a Bob's Mod is that uh, I won't get distracted by trying to use other methods. I'll just do lots of regular oil. 
Oh shoot, I'm gonna need a bunch of storage tanks. Well, let's go queue those up. We're out of stone. Need some steel. Wow, steel's actually looking kinda kinda low. Oh, probably don't need twenty of them, but a few. We've got spare pipe, 50... We might need more pipe than that. Do, 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 do. Pick up uh, all those, and we'll pick up a few stacks of these. That was sulfur. Oh yeah, insert a stack size bonus, I love that one. Okay, um, oil is something I've done many, many times, but the way that you do it never really changes much. We probably want to use as much of the space as possible, actually. Uh, we'll store oil right above. Well, let's run the pipes around first. So, very first thing we want to do is we're going to have a pipeline that just runs directly behind it, and a pipeline that runs three behind it. And then now normally this is what I do because then that way you can, you can kind of reverse it and you can have them on both sides. It's awfully dark out here. Sort of stack size bonus again. Uh, let's see if we can actually do some bigger pulls so that we can maybe keep this area kind of clean. So, okay. Hmm. I think it's pretty unlikely that anyone's going to attack this, but I'd still like to you know, protect the choke point. One thing I've never really understood is why is it that, um... Why haven't they ever, like, added in, like, flying biters? Doesn't that kind of seem like something that should just be in the game? Okay, so we got our power, we got our lights. Three insert stack size bonus now. Might as well do uh, a little bit of flammables, sure. Okay, so we're gonna store the oil above, and then once it comes out, I think we'll store the components over here. We'll just kind of go like. Well, let's try to line it up so that the middle one's right in the middle, like here. Actually, we'll do those so we can run all of that this way and then. Um, let's see. I guess laboratory efficiency, sure, why not? From there, I kind of want them to still be easily accessible, but, um... You know, it might even be nice as if we ran the, the different oils vertically now. Because then we could do processing on them. And they're already spaced perfectly apart. Kind of like that idea. Sure. We'll run them vertical for a bit. We'll run them in both directions. I want to mix the lines. So that means that this is just going to basically stop right here then. And we will run our water. 
be in the pipe behind. Too bad it doesn't line up properly. Water's not necessary just yet, but we'll use it eventually. And we can store our oil kind of just off to the side. We want to use as many underground pipes as we can to get the oil here so that it it doesn't store very much oil in the pipes when they're underground. So it actually helps with pressure if you use underground pipe. Not only that, but it kind of looks nicer and it certainly does save a lot of space. Okay, so the reason why it actually helps out so much is notice that the, uh, just the amount of stored oil is only, there's only two pipe actually, so it can have 20 oil in it in this big long stretch, where every single section of pipe can store 10. So by going underground, you're just, you're making it so the oil can't sit in the pipes, and it just gets forced up that way. Okay, so we got it being stored up in here, which is important because... Right now, we, we don't really have the ability to use all the oil, but we want the pumps running non-stop so that later on when they run dry, they'll still be quite efficient. Like, the this thing won't slow down. Um, and I suppose we will connect in right about here. And get these guys running. Now that you guys are working... This will allow us to run all kinds of like processing over here, but we will need storage tanks. So we'll kind of put you off that way. Oh, I have to say that looks quite nice. The longest possible pipe is this one. For the sake of looking nice, we'll just go underground on all of them and leave that little path there. And now we can store quite a bit of this stuff. Getting quite a bit done in this video. We have the whole oil industry basically operational. And the oil's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but that's okay. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is create some sulfur, which is going to require the chemical plants. I think what we might do is just run a line of this stuff up here and make the sulfur. Rather than bring the oil all the way down... I mean, we could. I think I'd rather just do this. We'll go sulfur here. Water over there. Hmm. Well, it's not horrible. So we got our sulfur manufacturing. 
And then the sulfur we can actually just bring down to the bus. Or, like, eventually, like, sulfur and plastic, I think it's easier to do it this way. You just keep keep the oil industry separate, make your sulfur and your plastic, and bring that down on a belt. In fact, we could just do that. We could send one belt down with both. Why don't we do, um... Can we actually go this close? Make some plastic. I don't know that this is actually going to work appro per per perfectly here. Do you have any, uh, any coal nearby? We don't. Well, we could bring it up with belts, or we could just give it a nice big stock. I mean, there's a whole bunch in these chests, so... Okay, uh, sure. Explosives, lasers, all that. We're gonna run out of things to research with just red and green. They're doing it so damn fast. Okay, um... I'd like for you guys to just kind of both output, like so. We want to run a single belt or two belts. Probably two belts would be better. And if that's the case, we could do a little belt balance thing here. Okay, um, coal. Both of you need access to coal. I mean, that could work. I'm a bit concerned that one of them is going to have massive priority on petroleum. Never did like how there's no splitter system on the petroleum. I wonder if that's possible now with these uh, combinators or whatever. Arithmetic combinator. Decider combinator. Constant combinator. They're really easy to make. Nice. Constant combinator. So just like output zero one time. Output 600 zeros. Nice. I have no idea what to do with these. Yep, okay. Well, let's clear all these out and see which ones are getting made. See what kind of a problem we're gonna have on production. As it is right now, when we have almost no petroleum, looks like the only thing that's being made is what? Mostly plastic. This requires three petroleum, this requires three petroleum, so they have equal requirements, and yet it's mostly making plastic. Hmm. Well, batteries are going to be a concern. We're going to need a lot of batteries. Our other option... Well, we need more oil. It's mostly just a lack of oil. Well, let's get some more oil coming in, and we'll just have to deal with the... the mixture issue by... putting some kind of a, a gap or a limit on something. Oh, that water looks really nice. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. 
as always, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video, where hopefully we will get some blue signs started with our massive supply of oil and our uh, sulfur and plastic. And get our robots up into the air, get more concrete down on the ground. Um, I mean, we're really powering through Vanilla Vectorio here. It's, it's pretty darn simple compared to some of the complicated mechanics I was looking at before. I do want to do trains in this map, and I do want to try to build the, uh, the end game thing, and I'd also like to learn how to use the combinators. Do something with them. Alright. So, okay, well, for now, I'll uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.